Hello there everyone, today's video is actually a, a follow-on from yesterday's video coincidentally as it's the same sort of topic all about when is income from employment not subject to PAYE. So remember in yesterday's video we said basically there's two legs in the legislation that say when PAYE should be deducted on income from employment if that income is emoluments derived from an employment or if it's uh, monies received by virtue of employments. Now, this case is to do with inducement payments. So specifically, the term on this was badged up as facilitation payments. And it concerns a well-known household name company, E.ON. Many thousands of people have their energy through E.ON. Many of you yourselves will have your energy bills through E.ON. So what did E.ON do? E.ON basically did this. They said, look, to their existing workforce who had these what we call defined benefit pensions, a type of pension scheme where you kind of know with certainty how much you're going to get when you retire. They basically said to the staff, they said, look, um, we'd like you to contribute more into your pension as you continue to work. Um, and as a bit of a sweetener for us wanting you to do this, we're just going to pay you a bit of a lump sum right now. So uh, go forward, you'll increase your contributions every month and we'll give you a bit of a lump sum now um, uh, for, for having to make that future increase in contributions. So how is that lump sum taxed? So is it subject to PAYE? So is it taxable or not? Now then. This, basically, the nature of the payment was a payment to, um, for, like I said, the reason was for the increase in future contributions. So the taxpayer, Eon, said, no, it shouldn't be subject to PYE. HMRC said, yes, it should, went to the tribunal. So what are they saying, courts? Well... The first tier tribunal, remember in the tax world, there's different levels of courts. So the first stage in the court process, FTT, first tier tribunal, they said that the payment was in exchange for changes in future employment conditions. So if it's if the nature of the payment is to do with changes in future employment conditions, then that is from employment ticks one of those two strands that are captured under the PAYE rules, easy for me to say, and hence PAYE should have been deducted. So taxpayer E.ON lost in the first round, round number one, in the courts against HMRC. Mm -hmm. So E.ON appealed, as you would expect, obviously there was a lot of tax at stake here, I don't know how much, but it would have been many, many millions. So then it went to the next stage of the court process and the judicial tax process, which is the upper tribunal, the UTT. So the UTT, they looked at it and they basically said the first tier tribunal was wrong and they overturned the decision. They concluded, did the UTT, that that payment received by all the employees of E.ON who had the pensions, they said that that payment that they received was a payment made from by reason of diminution in their future pension rights. So they said, it's not, nothing to do with their employment. It's to do with the fact that they're being given this sweetener because there's going to be a change, a diminution in their pension rights. In other words, they've got to cough up more going forward into their pension. So that's what the upper tribunal said. So they overturned the decision in the first tier. So then at this point, E.ON is in the lead. So then HMRC appealed and it went back up uh, the chain, the judicial chain, up to the next court in the land, which is COA, the Court of Appeal. And basically, the Court of Appeal said this. They said, yes, there is a change in the pension rights, which was what the upper tribunal were banging on about. But then they also said... But there is also a change in the future terms of the employment, those terms being 
change in the, um, the pension. So they were inextricably linked. So the Court of Appeal basically oh, threw out what the upper tribunal said and said, yes, we agree with the first tier tribunal that these payments that they're getting, this sweetener for having to pay more into their pension in the future is from their employment and hence tax deducted via PAYE. So just another example there why it's not, it's not just an open and closed thing on, on a lot of these quirky payments. Yes, as I said yesterday, the majority of people's wage slips every month, that's cut and dry. It's PAYE. But when these quirky things happen, you know, these one-off things, and you've got to look at it and say, well, does it fit the, how does it, how do you pigeonhole it into the, the tax law? And see, in this case, three different courts in the land, you know, one was um, uh, uh, against the taxpayer, for the taxpayer, ultimately against the taxpayers. So at the end of the day, E.ON uh, lost the case. But there you go, just another video on the, on the joys and the world of PAYE. I hope you liked it. If you did, please do subscribe. And as always, I'll see you soon.